Hey, welcome to my shop. You see this? I just made this. It's a vibrating table. And I made it for my next video I'm working on, which I'm about, you know, halfway through uh, making the gumball vase. And this was going to be a tip of the video, but after I videoed it, it just turned out a little, a little too long. And being as the gumball vase video itself is going to be pretty long because it's a lot of steps involved. I want to try to cover them all. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to build this for under $13, or right at between $13 and $14. And it's, uh, it's just really handy for shaking down things, you know, like your resin and bowls and stuff like that. So let's get on. Here's what you got to have. Have your two pieces of, of plywood. These are 12 inches square. That's not mandatory. All right, what I want you to do is to mark in an inch from all four corners and make a mark. I want you to mark a top and a bottom. I want you to draw you a circle in the center. The size is immaterial. It's going to be an access panel. You okay, take these. This is not totally imperative either, but I found that it just is helpful. Do it like this. Lined up in second here. And put one on each side. Just, this is just for holding it down. Alright, go ahead and in these four corners, drill your hole through both units. All the way through. These will be alignment holes. And that's the reason you want to do them both at the same time. All right. We're done with those. We'll be using them no more. Okay. Okay, the uh, top and bottom, make sure you, you know, this, this is your alignment, okay? Okay, on, on the top one, you'll see I got marks here. There are 12 marks. On these marks from the end, there you go. Now these are, uh, uh, if you can, they don't have to be right, but the reason I'm doing these is because I'm going to put something in these and you know how easy plywood splits. These are basically going to be pilot holes. Okay, next thing you need to do, is, you know, cut this out with whatever you have. And you'll have to, uh, well, in my case, I'll get a hole in it first for to start my jigsaw. Excuse me. I'll just do that real fast. It's not the sharpest bit around. Okay. While well, you got this drill bit on, go ahead and turn this over. And on each of the four corners where the pilot hole is, just sink you a little hole. It doesn't have to be very deep. You'll see why in a little while. That's all you need. Okay. Well, while we're in the drilling mode, let's go ahead and drill some more. Okay, on the top piece, on the bottom side where the pilot holes are, drill you one, drill you, counter seek you one of these, okay? Alright, we're done with that. For a moment, okay. I'm gonna go cut this out and I'll be back. Okay, the hole's drilled. You're gonna have to go to the hardware store. You don't need this anymore. And you're gonna have to buy you four of these. These are the spring-loaded uh, stops. Okay, on the bottom piece, I would suggest everybody do what they want, but I would suggest you put a little piece of glue right here, and you take and screw each one of them down. You have to get a wrench, I don't know. Be 
in. Good morning. <clears throat> Fingers run out. More out. Whatever. All right. Those four there. Turn this over. These little. I need get. Sorry about that. That's a cap for this. These little white tips that you took off. Maybe I didn't tell you to take them off. But you should have. Should have been able to read my mind. My wife can. All right. Put one in each place. There you go. That's that. Nice and level. It's good plywood. See the purple on it? Some of you might know what that is. Okay, remember these? All right. Why don't you put a glob of glue in each one of those? All right. Line these up. Where my top go? Top to top. Should each take you a nail. Put it into the hole. Use it for an alignment tool. And set it in there. Nail, alignment tool. Set it in there. There you are. Let's flip it over real fast. Like this. Okay. I'm going to take this other drill. Take this out and we're going to put... We're going to put this in the center where I drew, where we drew the X earlier. Now, when you get this, it comes from Amazon. It's $7.50 something cents. You'll have to drill these out and provide your own screws. It doesn't come with it. Put this over your red X. That's good. Let me back over. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take these holes I put in the center, in the edges, we're going to put a Oh, maybe a little long, I don't know. I'm going to do this all the way around. We're going to take a bowl of water. I'm going to set it on the center. We're going to take some string or a bungee or something. I'm going to come over here. Wrap it around a few times. Back to here. Doesn't have to be red string, guys. I'm going to find some electricity. I'm going to plug it up. Figured it out yet? We have a vibrating table. Make sure it's 12 volt, continuous service, and that's all it is to it.